We know that the path through all our courses is a long one. And I think I can speak for every member of our team when I say that we are impressed by our graduates. We also know from our entrance surveys that 75% of you are already professionally employed when you begin our program. And we know from our exit surveys that you spend between six and 15 hours per week doing your coursework. This quite naturally leads to the question, how do these amazing graduates get it done? My name is David Carell. I'm a course lead in the MITx MicroMasters program in supply chain management. To answer this question, I turn to them. In this video, we'll be presenting you with testimonials from learners who have passed all the courses and the CFX and even came to campus for the blended program and graduated that as well. These are truly inspiring people. We hope these tips will be helpful to you. Hi, I'm Laura and I'm from San Juan, Argentina. Hello, I'm Harish Sharma. I'm a supply chain ERP consultant uh, working in the IT industry. Hey everybody, I'm Colleen Copley and I'm from Mansfield, Massachusetts in the US. Hi, I'm Sindhu and I'm from Bangalore, India. Hello everyone, I'm Tarso from Brazil. Hi everyone, my name is Alessandro Silvestro and I come from a beautiful island called Sicily in southern Italy. Hi everyone, I'm Meiji. Hi, my name is David, I'm uh, originally from New Jersey. These great learners shared with us several tips and some of them apply before the course even starts. In a consulting world, there's never a dull moment. Uh, you're pretty busy, particularly when you're in a client-facing role. On a personal front, I am married and have got two lovely school-going kids. When I appeared for MicroMasters, I rather decided for it. Uh, it, it had been like around 20 years since I had moved out of college when I decided to do my MicroMasters. When I was starting my MicroMasters journey, I had actually just taken a brand new full-time job um, in additive manufacturing in a new state in the US. So I was moving to a new job in a new state. I had actually just gotten engaged to get married, so I was planning a wedding and we just got a puppy. So we had to do some training with him while he was still a puppy. Um, so for me, time management was huge. So how did I plan for my Maker Masters? The most important thing I would say I did was to talk to my family early on, uh, to talk to them about my plans. It was very important uh, to have their support because this was a long journey, which would have not been possible without their support. So my main, main piece of advice for anyone starting the Maker Masters is that first week when they release the curriculum, they're actually gonna give a pretty thorough list of what you're gonna learn every single week. And what you can do is take that list and try to go through and identify what, what modules do you think you have experience in and probably don't need to dedicate a ton of time to, or you think you may struggle and need to dedicate more time to. So for me, that was the supply chain finance modules because that was brand new to me. And also anytime we were learning a new software package or a new coding language, anything like that, they tend to give you a really good heads up when that's gonna happen. So you can take your academic schedule and take your personal schedule and make sure that you're not gonna have any big conflicts and identify that ahead of time and be proactive. So now let's say you've heeded that good advice before the course begins, but it's course time now and you need to find hours in your busy week to do the work. First thing first, routine. You need to put aside uh, one to three hours uh, and that's seven days a week most of the time. It's not always gonna be like that, but that's the average. In order to find um, the time that when you have no time, you need to think about all the pauses, all the commuting time, all the social media, interactions that you actually do every day and minimize that, compress that to a minimum so that at the end of the day every little slice of time available is going to be dedicated to study for the MicroMaster and if you do that um, you're going to be successful. When I completed my MicroMasters I worked full-time supervising the procurement of services for a major mining company in South America. And of course, I also manage my household at home, which includes a husband, a dog, and lots of friends and family. Here's how I got it done. 
So during weekdays, I didn't have a lot of extra time. So I managed to go through all the videos and lectures during the weekdays, but late night after dinner. That was the best moment at home where there was not noise at all and we didn't have any phone calls or anything else to handle. With that, weekends will be all about practice programs and graded assignments. I also got a couple of extra days if anything unexpected happened, could be with your family, with your job, with anything unexpected in the platform that might not work. So I think it's important to have this couple of extra days. Since I was working full time, studying during the weekdays was not an option for me as my place of work was far away from my home and any additional time that I had during the weekdays was spent on traveling. I used to start studying on Saturday mornings by going through all of the course videos, getting done with the quick questions and reach the practice problems at least by Saturday evening or Sunday morning. I used to dedicate Sunday afternoon to the graded assignments and have the Sunday evening to myself. Of course, some of the coursework which were tough would spill to the next week, which I would try to get done while on the ride to office or on the way back. When we solicited these video testimonials, we gave the graduates no direction as to what we expected to hear. There was one piece of advice that came up in multiple testimonials that I did not expect to see. Based on the first weeks of the course, I knew that I had to invest around eight hours per week to keep getting good grades. The question was, how to fit these eight hours on my agenda. So first, I use the wasted uh, daily two hours driving time listening to classes like a podcast, which saved me time in front of the computer. Also, I identified that I lost efficiency after a couple of hours of studying, so I prefer to break my uh, weekly schedule into three sections of one hour and a half each on Friday, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays, which were fine for me. But when I did the uh, program, I was living in Washington, D.C., working full time and uh, my loving, supporting wife was uh, pregnant with our triplets. So it was certainly a, uh, a fun and uh, chaotic time. And I remember uh, trying to fit in the uh, MicroMaster segments wherever I could. During a lot of my bus rides into work, I would, you know, get a, get a few of those, you know, five to seven minute sessions in and try and, uh, you know, capture the, those nuggets of knowledge and, uh, and get a chance to practice some of those problems uh, during a lot of those transit sessions. One of the best things about studying and teaching supply chain management is how immediately practical the best lessons can be. Many of our learners find that keeping an eye on this usefulness and practicality helps keep them motivated over a long journey. If you build an interest, if you make this useful uh, for you, you are going to have a solid and genuine passion uh, towards studying for your MicroMaster and that is going to bring you very, very far. I wanted to do this micro master's program because I was doing um, demand planning and procurement for about three years in my daily job and I wanted to see whether or not there are some theories and then additional understandings that can help make my job more efficient. Um, after I took those classes, I um, implemented the safety stock like using calculations instead of like using my intuition. So I'm very grateful for learning everything. We are impressed that you are endeavoring to begin. I look forward to being impressed by you again on the other side. So don't worry, we've all been there facing this time management issue. I encourage you to find the first spots in your agenda and do the best wiser use of your time. We are super happy to have you on board the MicroMaster experience. I thoroughly enjoyed the course. Uh, it was a great experience. I'm sure it will be a great experience for you. So good luck. All the best. So best of luck. Have so much fun and congratulations on starting your MicroMasters journey. Good luck to everyone. I know you can do it because I did it. And I did it while being a full-time employed um, in executive position and a family man. Overall, although the program was demanding, it was all worth it in the end. There were weeks that I lost track of my schedule and I had to prioritize studying over personal life and a little sleep. But it's doable. 
If thousands of us made it, you can make it. Make your study plan as it works best for you. Keep going and be part of our team. It's okay not to be perfect. And learning is hard, especially I am a working mom. It's hard for me to find time always to um, study every week. Take it slow. If I don't pass the first time, then I will take the class again. Every time I learn more and more and eventually I will pass it. So um, just slow and study. Uh, it certainly takes a commitment and uh, will, will be a big drain on time and energy, but a hands down a worthwhile investment that uh, I'm very glad that I uh, stuck through and, and achieved and uh, greatly benefited from. So best of luck and, uh, and look forward to seeing, uh, seeing you all at the alumni reunions.